parameter query in Microsoft Access allows us to ask variations on a question. A query might need to run monthly, but asking for this month's data versus last is often required, and the most flexible variation uses the idea of the wildcard. To start with, we've opened a file which looks at food vendors and their stock. We want to ask a couple of questions about different types of cheese. So we open our query in Design View, and we take a look at the grid column for the category description. The critical bit is the criteria row. That's where we put the thing which asks the user for help. If we type in a caption, like enter the category, and put square brackets around it, the program usually expects the brackets around a field name. When it can't identify the field, it thinks ask the user. So it puts whatever's in the brackets in a message box to us, and we then type in what we're looking for. If I now go ahead and run the query, and have to enter the category, type in one that I know is there, like hard cheese, click OK, and indeed we find about five varieties. I'll go back to Design View now. Using wildcards, though, makes this more powerful. To add the wildcard, I'm going to go ahead and jump into what's called a zoom window. I can right-click on my item here that I created and click on zoom. Then I need to type the word like ahead of my prompt. And on either side of the prompt, I now have to add, in quotes, an asterisk. I also need to add ampersands to concatenate or join together whatever we're going to throw into the prompt along with the asterisks. Essentially I'm saying whatever it starts with and whatever it ends with is fine, but the stuff in the middle is what I'm really looking for. So now that I've added my asterisks and my ampersands either side, I can OK out of the box here. And if I widen out the column where my category description is going, I can see I could have typed the information down here as well if I felt like it. If I now run the query again, I can enter just a couple of letters, like for example, uh, the letters SA, and hit enter. And now I get sauces. But if I run the query yet one more time, go back to Design View just so we can see, and run it yet once more, and type just the letter S. Anything in the category description that comes up with a letter S will show up as a result. This is uh, actually the basis of many kinds of searches, including those on the internet. A parameter query for all the fancy sounding names simply means a question with several possible answers. And the wildcard concept allows this to happen easily. It lets the answer be as much or as little as the user can enter.